Hi folks, this is Don. I had a question from one of your classmates about a couple of problems in chapter six having to do with confidence intervals and how to determine the sample size. And as usual, I'm going to recommend you consider using StatCrunch. I'll show you the StatCrunch way in this video and then I will come back a little bit later and show you how to solve it using Excel. Um, but it's so much faster doing stat crunch. So let's read the problem. We're given a sample mean and a population standard deviation. That's important. We're given the population standard deviation, not the sample standard deviation. So that helps us save a step. We want to use this information to construct the 90% and 95% confidence intervals for the population mean. By that we are taking the sample mean as an estimate of the population mean and by using the population standard deviation and in this case we're going to use the uh, normal curve z-score because we've got more than 45 home systems and we know the population standard deviation those are two things that always pretty well tell you you can use the z-test to solve these things we're given the sample of 45, a mean price, and the sample of 113, and the population standard deviation of 1770. So let's bring up StatCrunch. We'll do it this way. Okay, I have StatCrunch up. I'm going to drag it down here so we can see uh, what we're working on. And... Uh, to solve this, we're going to go to STAT, that's where most of our calculators are, and we're going to do Z-STAT, I said again, because we know the standard deviation of the population sigma. This is a one sample with summary. We bring up this dialog, we put in the sample mean of 113, we put in the standard deviation of the population, which is 117.70. We put in the sample size of 45. Down here, the key is to select this little bubble area that we want the confidence interval for the mean. And first we want for 0.90. And we just click Compute. And we get our answers there. We get our sample mean, the standard error, and the lower limit and the upper limit, 108.66, 117.34, and let's see, yes, that is the answers. They got there rounded to two different decimal places. Next, we want the 95% confidence interval, and we get that very quickly by clicking on Options, Edit, and that brings up our dialog box. And all we have to change is the 90 to 95. Click on Compute, and we have the upper and lower limits for the 95%, which is 107.83 rounded to two decimal places, and 118.17, and that's the answers they wanted there. And I'll let you interpret the results uh, yourself. Okay, that's how we solve that problem. This is another problem that we can solve very quickly using StatCrunch instead of going through the long or they're not long, but the uh, fairly complex equations for finding the number of subjects that we require. And in this case, we've got a doctor who wants to estimate the high HDL cholesterol for all 20 to 29 females, how many subjects are needed to estimate the HDL cholesterol within two points with a 99% confidence interval, assuming sigma equal 12.2. So again, we've got sigma, which is the population standard deviation. That's a major clue that we use the normal distribution, the Z distribution, to solve this problem. And then they want to know um, what will be the sample size with 95% and what happens as you decrease the confidence to the sample size. So I'm going to bring up StatCrunch. And we're going to go to Stat. And we're going to go to Z stats, remember, because we know the standard deviation of the population sigma. This is one sample. And we're going to go with sample size. And the reason I picked that particular calculator 
I'll show you, we're given the half width two points, plus or minus two points. That means the whole width is four points. So that tells me I want the width calculator, although you can get the same answer using the power calculator. The first question is for the 99% confidence interval. So I'm going to put 0.99 in. Our standard deviation, I think, was 12.2. 12.2. Our width is twice that margin of error, which would be 2 times 2 would be 4. And we click on Compute for a sample size of 247. And that is what they want us to come up with for the 99%. To get to the 95%, we just change one value. And for some reason, we got to go back, but that is 4. Leave everything else the same. We compute and we get 143 for the 95% confidence interval. So the last question there is how does the decrease in confidence affect the sample size? The lower the confidence level, in other words, 95% confidence level requires fewer subjects than 99%. That would in imply that if you went down to a 90% confidence interval, you would need even fewer subjects. And we can check that real quick. I'm just going to put 90% in there, get my 4 back in there, and sample dropped down to 101. So that logic holds true. So I hope that helps. Okay, this last problem I'm going to show you, um, we're given a data table here, and it says the grade point averages for 12 randomly selected stu college students are shown. Complete the parts below. Assume the population is normally distributed. You need to find the sample mean, the sample standard deviation. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the population mean. Okay, well, how do we solve this? Uh, two clues there. One, we only have 12 uh, items, 12 students in our sample. So that's less than the 30 we normally want for the uh, z-test. And also, we do not know the population standard deviation. We have a sample, and we can calculate the sample standard deviation. So that tells me we need the t-test. So let's solve this using StatCrunch. I'm going to click on Open in StatCrunch. Okay, we got our data now entered into StatCrunch and the first thing I want to do is come up with my mean and standard deviation. I'm going to Stat, Summary Stats, Columns and select that VAR1 column where our data is. We can get a lot of statistics but we just need the mean. I'm going to hold down the control and standard deviation and I'm going to click on Compute and we get our mean and standard deviation mean of 2.358, standard deviation of 1.198. So that's what we need to enter into the T test. So I'm going to go to stat, T stats, one sample with summary. Bring this down. Our sample mean, we just copy it, control C, control V. I think that worked. Control V. We've got 12 for our N. We want to click on confidence interval and we want the 95%. I'm just going to click on compute and we get a confidence interval of 1.56 rounded to two decimal places and 3.12. And let's see. I'm sorry, 1.60. I said that wrong. 1.60, 1.59 rounded is 1.60, and 3.12. So that's how fast you can solve it using StatCrunch. Mm -hmm.